Okay, we just got up to Scott Lake, Sisters Wilderness. We're going to be doing um, like a two-day, kind of two-and-a-half-day backpacking thing. It's Thursday night. We just got here. Um, staying in the rooftop tent in my above the Subaru overnight. Then we're going to be hitting the trailhead to Scott Mountain to Benson Lake. Um, go halfway to Benson Lake tomorrow and then the final day we'll come back and pick up the car and leave and we're going to have one overnight in a tent. Um, we do have the dog with us, um, Zeus, this time. This is his first kind of overnight stuff. So that's going to be interesting. We're going to have to have him in the rooftop tent tonight, <laughs> which is going to be kind of crazy. Got to lift him up in there and then backpacking tent with us tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully we'll get him nice and tired on the hike and then um, he'll be mellow because he's a German short hair and he's he's a little overly excited <laughs> most of the time. Zeus, get out of there. Don't want you all muddy. So we're at Scott Lake in the rooftop tent. Um, got Lacey with me and Zeus. It's first time overnight and in the rooftop tent all together. Lacey's, you've been in the rooftop tent a few times now. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. We're only gonna be in it overnight here and then we're gonna go do an overnight backpacking and then come back and pick up the car and go home. So he seems to be okay with it. He is just a little nervous at first. So, it's perfect size for two people and a dog. <laughs> Our backpacking tent's gonna be a different story though. Well, what you doing, buddy? What's that? What's that, dude? <laughs> That's the light. <laughs> All right, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Me and Lacey um, got up about six, broke everything down with a car tent. Um, we're on trail 3513. Um, just outside of Scott Lake heading the long way around to Benson Lake we're gonna do Scott um, Scott Mountain uh, Summit and then drop over down to Benson Lake and then overnight there and then do a couple miles in the morning back to the car so we'll talk to you later on the trail so we're starting to drop down to Hand Lake which I guess is right next to Scott Lake and they made these cool stairs all the way down here kind of neat Lacey down here. She's such a good backpacker now. Got her own pack, carrying her own gear. So proud of her. She's come a long way since she's a kid. Well, she's still a kid, but almost 13. Uh, let's see who we'll come out in this marsh down here. Kinda, this is just. It's a glory. It says hand lake. It's a glorified pond. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, very cool. Lace is down here. There's a ton of tiny frogs. Don't get your feet all wet. I got two of them. Look. What is it? Oh, they're frogs. Yeah, I caught the some of the same oh, size yesterday. Oh, let me yesterday. see. Ooh, it's all sloshy down here. Baby frogs. Wow. There's two of them. They're, I think they like the... Where'd where they... Zeus go? I don't know. I wouldn't worry about him. Yeah. He'll, he'll run right back. Did you get it on video? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I like to record over... Kind of a cool little <laughs> pond, Remember more or less. There's no one down here. There's lots of people at Scott Lake. We didn't even really get a spot. We just kind of pulled off. It was like a... A no camping spot, kind of just a little pull off. We just threw up the rooftop tank because we were only staying overnight and then parked at the trailhead this morning. So we got to a junction um, on the trail, but it's not showing on the map, um, this little junction. Hand Lake, um, that way, 3513, and then back that way is where we came from. Um, but also, this see that says 3513? Right here also says 3513 Hand Lake going this way down, which is not on either map, the trailhead map or my green trails map. So if you get to this point ever, don't go down, go straight because that goes 
Um, I don't know where that goes. I think it's it's marked wrong. Um, but we're going up. Right, Lacey? Yeah. So we got over to Hand Lake. There's kind of there's like a burn over here. There's big lava rock here at the end of the lake over there. A bunch of lava flow that happened there at one point. And then there's just kind of this burn area. This is like the end of the lake. The trail just kind of goes along the edge of the lake. Doesn't really go down to it. I think that one little spur trail that we saw back is kind of what just goes down to the lake. You don't have a super great view of the lake. It's kind of just through the trees. Keep Go ahead, go ahead and move forward, Lace. I want to walk down here a little bit. Yeah, so the water level is like super low on it right now. Um, it does look pretty cool down there though. Pretty neat. Zeus is down there running towards the water. There he comes. Running through the trees. <laughs> Crazy dog. Okay, so we're going along the trail. Came up to this lava flow right by Hand Lake. So it looks like the trail just kind of goes right along this whole lava flow. Pretty cool. We're in the Willamette National Forest. We just entered it um, right now. So weather's kind of cool um, and overcast, which is great for hiking. A little bit of a breeze. Um, it did get kind of cold last night. I think probably down to 45 degrees. Um, where we stayed at Scott Lake, I think the elevation is probably around 43, 4,400 feet. Um, we will be going to roughly about... 6,000 feet today for the summit of Scott Mountain. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Sun's coming out. Uh, we just keep paralleling um, along the side of the lava flow. That's kind of the trail just kind of keeps going around right up the side by the lava flow. It's pretty awesome. All right, we're on our way to the summit. Um, I'm not sure how many more miles, maybe a we're just a little bit outside of um, Hand Lake, so we probably got another two and a half miles to go. We're about halfway. So we got to this point right here. Um, the trail's marked 3513 going that way, and Scotty Way 4345 going that way. The green trails map that I have is wrong. It says that we should follow 3513, but the the map at the trailhead says 4345 goes to the peak so we got a difference and i'm going to follow the trailhead one because it seems more logical this seems to be going up and that seems to be going away so um hopefully it'll turn out <laughs> we'll figure it out so just two maps saying two different things we're almost to the summit i've been hiking for about two hours and 20 minutes we're about five miles in i'm um, going Pretty quick, about two miles an hour, a little bit faster. Um, Zeus is starting to calm down a little bit. He's just getting a little tired. Uh, let's see, we found kind of a little cool area over here. Kind of be cool to go. There's some flat spots. We're not too far from the summit. I don't think maybe half a mile tops, if, if that. Come over here and camp in this little area. Summit's at 6113. Zeus is having a good time. Zeus! Hey, buddy. You're a good-looking dog. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so we got to the junction. Uh, we're going to head up this way to the uh, peak of Scott Mountain, and then we're going to come back and head back down this trail towards um, Benson Lake. Come on, Zeus. It's like, what? <laughs> So we didn't make it to the summit of Scott's Mountain. Um, the trails just weren't marked well. We went up where it said we were supposed to go, but we were just going too far. So it was only supposed to be 0.3 of a mile, and we were like almost a half a mile or more into it. So we just turned around and came back. Um, we actually found this meadow right now. Um, we're having a lunch in it. So dogs playing over, hang, over there, hanging out. Lots of cool little wildflowers. Was your lunch good, Lace? Yeah. What'd you have? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. I'm having some uh, like Thai noodle type stuff. So it's nice and sunny right now. We're purposely in the shade. We got some um, mosquito stuff on. There's 
quite a bit of mosquitoes out today. So we're around lots of lakes, so I'm, just, I'm not surprised. Usually in August, though, this is the beginning of August, um, mosquitoes are kind of cleared out. They're usually worse in uh, July, but we seem to be getting them up in this area. Well, I'm at National Forest in the uh, Mount Washington wilderness. Zeus, he's loving this little meadow over here. Sitting out in the shade over there, there's a bunch of wildflowers up over there. Lacey just hanging back over here. She already had her lunch. She's eating some candy now. <laughs> Waiting for my soup to cool, my noodles and stuff. Lots of little mosquitoes out here. They're, they seem to be staying away from us now that I put on this mosquito stuff. <clears throat> Seems to be helping. What, Zeus? You look tired, buddy. <laughs> we did give him some of his doggy food, too. He already ate it. So he's just kind of hanging out with us now. So we're on the way to Bay's Lake. We, or not Bay's Lake, but uh, Benson Lake. And we stopped at this Tanaz Lake. It's pretty gorgeous. It almost kind of reminds me of um, some of the lakes up at Mount Jefferson. The color of the water, for sure. There's some big rocks over there. You can looks like I saw some people over there jumping off of. So it's pretty awesome. It's a gorgeous day. It's probably about maybe 75 degrees. Very nice. A little bit of a breeze. Um, almost noon. Clear water. Might be going swimming in this one. Got um, Lacey and Zeus over there playing. So we ended up staying at, or stopping at Tanaz Lakes area. I believe that's how you pronounce it, not sure. Um, it's before Benson Lake. Um, got my hammock set up. It's gonna show you kind of what it looks like. Zeus's little area. Um, tent set up over here. And both our packs are hook, hooked up. But this is the best part, right over here. We've got our own private lake. There's no one here. There's actually three lakes over here. Um, there's one big one in the front and then two in the back. And we're off one of the back ones and there's like literally no one here. Up front there's like I think one or two tents that I saw. But it's just amazing. Little side I couldn't pass it up. So I don't think there's anything better at Benson than this. Zeus and Lacey down here playing, filled up our water. I'm gonna be going swimming. It gets deep quick, so it's a small little lake, but it's it's deep. So and the water is warm too. It's probably only it's probably about the water is probably about 55, 60 degrees. It's perfect. So enjoying it. We're having a good time. Having a good time, Lace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Is it cold? No, it's actually not that cold. It's about like Timothy Lake. So we came up uh, above the Tanis Lake spot where we we're at and we got up to this little summit area. It's pretty freaking sweet. You can like see forever. Look at this. Amazing. All these different mountains out here. Cascades. And we got some, I think, I'm not sure, I think those are the sisters back there. You can kind of see them. We're in the Mount Washington wilderness area, so but we're I'm pretty sure that's the sisters over there. In that area. Pretty amazing. It's just a cliff here, a big old cliff. I have to hold him more so yeah. I'm afraid he'll jump off. Lacey's holding Zeus because we're afraid he's gonna go for it. 
he's been a little screwed up. Our lake is right down over there. You can kind of see it right back over there. That's where we're at, right below on that lake. This is an amazing area. I will definitely be coming back here again. Got some cool rock formations across right over there. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh, Lace? Yeah. Lacey made a Zeusia, a little area to lay down in kind of like marked it off with logs and then it's a bunch of uh, that like an old man's beard stuff. He likes it. He's chilling. Yeah, he likes it. Oh, look at those eyes. Those tired eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Benson Lake. Um, glad we didn't stay here. That Tanaz Lake is a lot better than this. Um, just smaller, better ac water access, just better altogether. Good call on my part. This would have been a disappointment. Day three, we finished our hike. We're going through to McKenzie Pass on 242. It's a lookout for um, three sisters. You see um, north and middle. Um, south is on the other side of that. Going down. Uh, 242 to McKenzie Pass um, Observatory. Going to check that out. Lacey's never seen it. Pretty cool. It's an amazing it, day. It, like it went around. So we're at McKenzie Pass D Wright Observatory. Um, sisters over there. Lava fields. Um, we're at the top of the observatory. Uh, I got Belknap Crater, Mount Washington, Mount Jefferson, Black Butte over there. On this side is actually where we came from. Over there, Scott Mountain came from that area. I mean, kind of overnighted down over there. There's some lakes, um, Tanaz Lakes. So we got the parking lot down here. I'll park down there. PCT entrance right down over there. And then that kind of goes up and over through Belknap Crater. Did that in 2015. So pretty awesome so we pulled off over here at this snow park to let Zeus go to the bathroom and we got a little deer friend over here I don't know if you can see him but he's just back here chilling he's like looking at me right back over there he's just eating grass we're probably like maybe 35 feet from it he goes he's not scared at all Zeus. Zeus sees him now. Now Zeus is interested. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's kind of blocked off. You're not supposed to come back to the snow park today, but I came back here because I wanted Zeus to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Zeus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 